a person shot by a West Hartford police officer has died. Yeah, Pinpoint News Tracker shows us exactly where this all happened, right on New Britain Avenue, right near New Park Avenue. So let's send things straight out to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler, live from the scene. Good morning, Olivia. Is there an active police presence there this morning? Caitlin, there is along New Britain Avenue between Hillcrest and New Park Avenue. You'll see there's still caution tape and police cruisers blocking off a large portion of the road here. Now, overnight breaking news that police confirmed to us that the person that was shot by a West Hartford police officer has died. Now, the police officer was also injured during that active investigation, and he's expected to be okay and is being treated for at an area hospital. Let's take you step by step. A lot we're trying to piece together this morning. Tuesday, late afternoon, we know that several crashes took place along New Britain Avenue. When police arrived, we know at some point an officer fired at one individual. It was a very intense scene. You can see this video that we captured. It looks like multiple cars hit each other head on. Another violent scene just down the road outside of a town fair tire where we are right now. You can see that a silver Toyota smashed into a telephone pole and utility box. Caution tape is stretched and blocking off a large portion of New Britain Avenue which is a popular road for people who live in and around Hartford and West Hartford. It's unclear why the officer fired his gun or what happened after the multiple crashes. Now, the Office of the Inspector General, as well as Connecticut State Police, are actively investigating at this point. As we mentioned, there's still police cruisers and caution tape on the scene here, blocking off several roads in this area. Now, we are going to continue to follow this developing news. As soon as we have an update, you'll be the first to know right here. We're live in West Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.